Hi, fifth grade, it's Mrs. Englade, and I'm here with um, today's lesson on, we're just gonna do a little bit more practice with subtracting. I wanna try you, I wanna show you um, one more strategy that I like to use. So you need to have out your math composition book in addition to the worksheets that either I or Ms. Scalata gave you, to, gave you today. It was worksheet page 20 and pages 26 and 27. I'm just going to do a few of those problems with you just to kind of get you started and show you how to do those. And then um, the next day in school, uh, you'll continue to work on those. So don't, don't feel like you have to um, finish those for homework because we don't want you to finish those. We want you to finish those in class. All right, let's get started. In your composition book, in the table of contents, you're going to um, make a new entry and have it called expanded form method. So go ahead and pause the video right now if you need some more time in your table of contents, expanded form, and uh, go to your next clean page. I just wanted to show you um, what really happens when we take, let's say for example, 617, and from that we take away 389. Okay, normally we would um, uh, subtract over these numbers, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what happens. But what I want you to see is, I want you to see what happens when I write this number out in expanded form. 600 plus 10 plus 7. And from that, I'm going to subtract 300 plus 80 plus 9. Okay, now... You see that I can't take 9 from 7, right? So we're going to come over here and we're going to borrow a 10. So remember, this is the 10's place. So when I borrow a 10, that doesn't leave me anything over here. But that 10 is going to move over here to this 7, making that a 17. Okay, 17 minus 9 is 8. Okay, now here's the problem. I need to take 80 away from no, no 10's. So what I'm going to come over here and do is I'm going to come over and borrow a 100. And this becomes a 100. So we're really making this 10 tens over here, 100. I still have 500, 600, 17, what I started with, okay? But I'm just going to regroup so that I can take things away. Now I have 100 minus 80, which will give me 20. And then 500 minus 300 is 200. So then I'm going to combine these back together to get my answer of 200. 28. Okay, I'm going to come back in a minute and I'm going to show you how that works over here when we borrow and regroup. Let's take the dreaded, dreaded, dreaded zeros. We never know when they turn into nines or what turns into tens. And let's see if we can figure it out using expanded form. All right, so over here we have a thousand. We don't have any hundreds, we don't have any tens. And we don't have any ones. Goodness gracious, the thousands are being very, very um, uh, hoggish. Couldn't think of the word. All right, so here we have, we're going to take from this 500 plus 40 plus 3. Now, here's our problem. We don't have any ones, tens, or hundreds. So I'm going to come over here and share the, share the uh, wealth over here. Oops, I'm sorry. This is going to become zero thousands. I have 1,000 right now. I'm going to make this 0,000 and move this 1,000 over here to my hundreds. It's really like 10 hundreds, right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow a 100. That's what I was trying to do earlier and I wasn't thinking, okay? I borrowed a 100. What does that do? That comes over and that becomes 10 tens. Do I still have 1,000, 900, and 100? Yep, I sure do. But now I have to keep on regrouping and borrowing. So I'm going to borrow a 10 over here. So when I borrow a 10, that leaves 90, and this becomes 10 over here. I still have 90, or 900. 90 and 10 make 100. I still have 1,000, but I just regrouped it. Now I can subtract. 10 minus 3 is 7. 90 minus 40 is 50. And 900 minus 500 is 400. 450. Okay, here's what happens over here when you do all this, okay? I come over here, borrow 1,000, this becomes 10 hundreds. I borrow 100, this becomes 10 tens. I borrow a 10, this becomes 9 tens, this becomes 10 ones. Do you see the relationship? This is an expanded form, this is in short form, okay? 
Up here what happens is I can't take 9 from 7, so I come and borrow a 10. And I can't take 8 from 0, so I come over here and borrow a 100, and this becomes 10 tens. It's still a 100, but it's 10 tens now, so that's how that happens. Okay, so that's the end of our notes actually today. What I want you to switch to now is I want you to switch to page 20. It looks like this, okay? Page 20, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you one of the several ways that we either learn on Friday or even today's lesson on how to subtract 1,569. And from that, I wanna take 275. So let's see. Hmm. I am going to, I think I'm going to solve a simpler problem. Do you want to see that one? So I'm going to solve an easier problem. Here's what I see. What if I, instead of taking away 275, I'm going to take away 300. Okay. Now when I take away 300, what am I taking away? How much more am I taking away than my original problem? Did you say 25? I hope you said 25. I'm taking away 25 more than what I need to. So can you predict what I'm gonna to have to do with my answer that I'm about to get? If I'm taking away 25 too much, okay, let's see if you uh, predict it. I can do this in my head. Here I have 15 hundreds, right? We talked about that in class, 15 hundreds. From that, I'm gonna take away 300. Can you do it in your head? 15 hundreds, take away 300s. In my head, I get 12 hundreds and then 69 left, and then were you right? I'm about to say what I took away too much. That's right, I took away 25 too much, so I have to add 25 back. Does that make sense? I took away 25 too much, so now I have to go back and make up for it, and I have to add my 25 back on. So that's not too horrible. So 14, I'm going to carry my 10, I get 9 10s, 1,294. Prevented me from having to, uh, the reason I like to do that is because I saw that to take 75 away from 69, I was going to have to like regroup some things. And so I just like to do it that way. Now, you might want to add on. You might want to add on, you might want to subtract back. So all those different ways that we either talked about Friday or even today, you can write out the expanded form if you want to. But what I'm gonna want you to do tomorrow in class is I'm gonna want you to come tomorrow to class and try a second way to do that, okay? You don't have to do it right now, okay? It's not for homework, it's not, don't do it right now, but wait and do it tomorrow in class so that I can help you if you need help, okay? All right, let's take a look at number two. There are 813 students in Talisha's school. Today, 768 are present. How many are absent? Well, let's see. Kids are either present or they're absent in school, right? And here's my total. And here's the ones present. So let's see. My present plus absent must equal my total. So it looks like we're going to subtract. 813 minus 768. Okay. Mm, you know which one I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to add on. It's not too hard. I'm going to add on, right? A, O. All right. So I'm going to add on 2 to my 8. Remember, compatible numbers, it makes a 10. So if I'm at 68, it's going to make 770. Then if I'm at 770, can you tell me what's going to be compatible with 70? I hope you said it. 30, right? Because 30 and 70 give me another 100. All right, I'm at 800. Now the rest is pretty easy because now I just have to add on 13 to get to 813, don't I? Do you remember? Do you remember if I started here and ended here, where's my answer? That's right, it's right here. So let's see, 30 and 13 is 43 and two is 45. So 45, let's go ahead and make a check statement. 45 students are absent. Okay, now be ready to do another way to solve this problem tomorrow in school. All right, let's go to 26 and 27. I try to make a, um, um, I try to make it fit on one page so we can see all the information that we need uh, at one time. It says, the Descartes Trucking Company is based in New York, New York. They guarantee delivery of anything and everything to points across the United States. 
use the mileage chart to solve the problems. Show all of your work. The map of the United States on page 25. Well, we don't have 25 right here. Remember that all trips begin in New York City. That's something to remember when you're answering these problems. I'm going to help you with one problem. When you come to school tomorrow, you're going to do the rest on your own. Let's see. Mm, let's do number two. Rachel is driving a trailer of new cars to Dallas. Now remember, she starts from New York City and she's going all the way to Dallas. I like to draw pictures. Remember, it's a puzzle for me. I'm gonna draw pictures so I can see what's happening. Oops, sorry, let me take that away if I can. There we go. Okay, she is 480 miles from Dallas. Here's what that means. She has driven a distance so that if I were to drive another 480 miles to Dallas, or I mean, another 480 miles, I'll be to Dallas. So this is the amount that I don't know, right? This is my missing number, but I know together they equal, let's see what Dallas is, 1,565, 1,565. So can you see that we're gonna subtract? Okay, now here's, because I'm a little bit limited on time because I'm running over a, a little bit of time, I'm going to make an easier problem. I'm gonna subtract 500 and then, while I'm, I'm solving this, I want you to think about what I'm gonna have to do to my answer to adjust for that difference that I just did. Can you tell me? I hope you're saying it over there. If I'm taking away 20 too much, I hope you're saying to yourself, I need to add 20 back on to make up for that difference. So my answer is 1,085 miles. So you'd write that in a complete sentence. So number two I did for you, when you get back in class tomorrow, we're gonna, I'm gonna want you to do numbers one, three, four, and five on your own. And I'll, I'll help you with any, or you know your classmates can help you if you're struggling with this. All right, all right, well that's it for today, boys and girls. Um, we will see you tomorrow.